Hills and welcome to Live at the Pleasance in association with Audible! It is a thrill for us to be here. The Edinburgh Festival, the biggest and best arts festival in the world. Are you ready for some comedy? I was born in the 80s. Anyone heard of that? <laughs> a while back then, wasn't it? If you got a song in your head, you couldn't start Googling what you thought you had. You're trying to work it out. What is this song got in my head? Couldn't do that. There was no Google. You had to go to the music shop, sing it to the man. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. What's this song? <sighs> well, that sounds like George Michael to me. Any idea which song? Oh, that could be any, that's his trademark sigh. <laughs> Father figure? Yes, that's what I need. I mean, yes, that's the song. <laughs> Has Brexit had any effect on your show? Um, yeah, a little bit. Personally, like, I voted to remain in um, the European Caliphate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because... Because for Asians, Eastern Europeans are a really good first line of defense against the bigots. And without them, I just, <laughs> I just feel a little bit exposed, so. Is this your first time in Edinburgh? It is, hey. yeah. yeah. Any first impressions you want to share? Anything you love? Anything you know? Um, more redheads th than I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> uh, I'm the only one in my family that has red hair. So I came here and I was like, hey, these are my people. <laughs> uh, and we are ready and raring for some sketch comedy right now. Hello, and welcome to this TED Talk on life's greatest mystery. Why women love shoes so bloody much. <laughs> it's a proven fact that behind every great woman is a great shoe. <laughs> oh, what, you don't believe me? Why not listen to this list of inspirational, famous women who all wore shoes? <laughs> Louise Redknapp, Lorraine Kelly, Christine Hamilton, to name but three! We've got an amazing treat. It's some mind-boggling, cheeky magic. Every single person, stand up. In a deck of cards, you've got 52 of them. Think of one. If you're currently thinking of the ace of spades, that's statistically the most pit, please sit down. Which means now we've got nothing too obvious, so to make it completely random, I'd like every single person to sit down except for this gentleman just there in the check shirt, about four rows back. If everyone sit down, you're looking around. This isn't like the telly, this is live. <laughs> card in your head, Bob. Can you still remember it? Do you remember to tell you? Ace of clubs. The ace of clubs. The number one of clubs. See, in this deck of cards, the reason I've been holding it the entire time is that before I met you, Bob, I turned over one card. I've always been a warrior. As a child, I remember hearing a joke about a chicken and panicking. Did he make it across or what? <laughs>